Thank you for purchasing your EDM 760 series engine data management system. You will discover that this is the finest engine monitoring instrument available for piston engines. This video will walk you through the operation of the EDM 760 and answer the most common questions about the instrument. Think of your EDM 760 as your personal flight engineer. Always there, working in the background, constantly watching over your engines while you concentrate on flying the aircraft. You can make an entire flight without ever pushing a button, if you so choose. Yet your EDM 760 will be monitoring your engine parameters three times a second and will warn you instantly if any parameter exceeds the programmed limit. Let's jump in and see how it works. The EDM 760 collects data and displays it for you in a useful way. You use the EDM 760 to monitor engines, temperatures and voltages, adjust the fuel air mixture, and diagnose engine malfunctions. Let's examine the analog display. There are two clusters of bar graphs, one for the left engine and one for the right. Central to each cluster is the exhaust gas temperature, or EGT, bar graph presentation. The height of each column represents the EGT. The last column represents oil temperature or turbine inlet temperature, depending on the options installed in your aircraft. The range of the EGT columns is red line at the top down to one half of red line at the bottom. This is called the percentage view because you're looking at a percentage of red line. The normalized view allows you to see small, subtle changes in temperature. When you change to the normalized view, hold the right button for three seconds. All column heights are set to the identical half height. Any changes are shown as an increase or decrease in column height. A one bar change in column height represents a 10 degrees change. The normalized view permits rapid visualization of EGT trends rather than a percentage of red line. The missing segment in the column represents the cylinder head temperature. Above each column is a number corresponding to the engine cylinder number. The rightmost column of each cluster, if present, displays oil temperature. If turbine inlet temperature is installed, then the rightmost column will indicate this with a T above that column. Beneath the bar graph is the alphanumeric display. A pair of index dots above the columns indicates which cylinder is being displayed on this numerical display. The same parameter for both engines is displayed at the same time. When the index dots are beneath cylinder numbers 1 through 6, the digital display shows the EGT on the upper four digits and the CHT on the lower three digits. When TIT is displayed, the letters TIT are shown below the numerical display. Other engine parameters shown in this display are oil temperature, if you have this option installed, the rate of shock cooling of the most rapidly cooling cylinder in degrees per minute, Lycoming recommends that you keep this value below 50 degrees per minute, the bus voltage on the left and if you have the OAT option installed, outside air temperature on the right, the difference between the hottest and coolest exhaust gas temperatures. If you have the fuel flow option installed, there are other displays which will be described later in this video. There are two buttons on the front panel. These two buttons control all functions of the EDM 760. On the left side is the step button and on the right is the lean find button. One minute after the EDM 760 is turned on, it will automatically index through all parameters. Tapping the step button will stop the automatic scan and always take you into the manual indexing mode. Here you can observe each parameter value for as long as you want. To begin or resume automatic indexing, tap Lean Find and then tap Step. To switch between the percentage view and the normalized view, hold the Lean Find button down for 5 seconds. We will explain more on the use of these two buttons as we proceed through the video. Upon reaching cruise configuration, lean using the Lean Find mode to identify the first cylinder to reach peak EGT. 
Note that the first cylinder to peak is the leanest cylinder, not necessarily the hottest cylinder. Begin the leaning process by pre-leaning the mixtures to about 50 degrees below the estimated peak on any one of the cylinders. For example, let's say that you have determined that 1350 is the pre-lean value for your aircraft. Now wait about 30 seconds for temperatures to stabilize. To enter the Lean Find mode, tap the Lean Find button. You will see the exhaust gas temperature of the hottest cylinder on the upper display. Slowly lean the mixture of either engine at a rate of about 5 degrees per second. Continuously. Do not pause. It doesn't matter which engine you lean first. When there is a 15 degree rise in EGT in one engine, the lean find will become active for that engine, indicated by the flashing cylinder number of the hottest cylinder. If you have the fuel flow option, the fuel flow rate will be shown on the lower display. Stop leaning when the column begins flashing. You will see peak EGT on the display, followed by the value of the exhaust gas temperature of the first cylinder to peak. In most cases, you will now be on the lean side of peak by about 10 degrees. While the column is flashing, slowly enrich the mixture. The temperature will increase, returning to peak. Stop enriching at the desired exhaust gas temperature, usually peak to 20 degrees rich of peak for best economy. You may now lean the other engine. Simply begin leaning. When there is a 15 degree rise in EGT in the other engine, the lean find will become active for that engine. The next section of this video describes the use of the fuel flow option. If you do not have this option, you may choose to fast forward to the following section. The EDM 760 fuel flow options uses the known quantity of fuel aboard and keeps track of all fuel consumed. Fuel remaining and endurance are calculated on a total aircraft basis rather than for individual tanks or engines. Fuel used is calculated for each engine and for the total used by both engines. For fuel calculations to be accurate, it is imperative that you enter into the EDM 760 the correct amount of fuel aboard the aircraft. The fuel flow option provides up to nine additional parameters in the indexing sequence. These are fuel flow rate in gallons per hour, fuel used by each engine separately, or accumulated since the last time the total was reset, fuel remaining in all tanks on the left display, and time to empty at the current fuel burn rate displayed in hours and minutes on the right display. Total fuel used since refueling if you have your GPS interface to your EDM 760, you will have the following additional information. Fuel required to the next GPS fix on the left display, and the fuel reserve you will have upon reaching the next GPS fix on the right display. Nautical miles per gallon based on current ground speed and fuel burn rate on the left display, and nautical miles to next waypoint on the right display. You have a choice of three parameter indexing options as selected by the three position toggle switch mounted near the face of the instrument. This switch setting does not affect the alarms. Any alarm such as an over temperature alarm will immediately display the alarm message regardless of the switch setting. The EGT position will display only temperature related parameters and bus voltage. The FF position will display only the fuel flow related parameters and the ALL position will display all parameters. The fuel flow indexing option does not affect the bar graph display. When you first turn on the EDM 760, you will be asked if you filled, added or removed fuel from the tanks. If you tap STEP, your answer is NO if you have not changed the amount of fuel on board. If you have added fuel, tap Lean Find. You will see the total capacity of your main tanks. If you have auxiliary tanks, tapping Lean Find again will show total fuel capacity of both main and auxiliary tanks. If you top your tanks, you now have the displayed amount of fuel in the aircraft. Tap Step. If you added or removed fuel, tap Lean Find a second time and you will see fill plus. Tap step and you will see add and then value zero. If you added fuel, hold lean find and the amount displayed will increase. 
If you overshoot the amount, simply tap Lean Find to return to the correct amount. Tap Step when you're finished entering fuel information. <laughs>